guys <laughs> welcome back i hope that you are all okay and that you had a really good week uh hunter says hello got him on camera again for you this week um so reading wise updates for you on that i did a post on social media this week if you haven't um gone over to facebook or instagram do stay in touch on there because i do tend to let people know on there when i am starting to do private readings i think i put it on youtube as well and um, but do stay up to date on social media and um, for the for the updates but i put that we were having a day of readings in march and they got um private readings they got fully booked within the hour so i was absolutely inundated with you guys booking readings um so i'm a little bit restricted with maternity that's the that's what the thing is um with the government how it works is you can only work a certain amount of days um when you're on maternity leave um in england that's kind of how it works so the first day that i'm gonna be working is at the end of march and all the book I, I put out that i was going to be doing readings that day and they got fully booked like i said within the hour so the next set of readings i'm going to be doing is going to be in april i'm going to start taking deposits for them in march towards the end probably of march about this time in march um, I'll start taking deposits. So do stay up to date on social media if you want those private readings doing. Um, like I said, it's very limited at the moment what I can do. Um, and it's going to be one day a week. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to be one day a month until August. And I think it's late August that my maternity stops. Um, but yeah, so stay up to date on that. Now, this little one had a bad week. You wouldn't believe it, would you? He, when he was born, he had tongue tie. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, um, but his little tongue goes out into a heart shape. He, he wasn't able to push his tongue out past his bottom lips and it was really, really hard for him to feed. So what happened, um, let's lean you back a bit. So what happened was we had to go for minor surgery, didn't we, you bone balls? We had to go for minor surgery um, and he had to have it cut. Oh my God, it broke my heart. <laughs> so he was all right. He was fine during the surgery. Um, the doctor was great. The nurses were great. Absolutely fine. Oh, I went to the bloody wrong hospital. I lived by a hospital, so I presumed it was at that hospital. And I, I was like 10 minutes before the appointment. And I realised, I checked the letter, went in, into the hospital and they were like, you're at the wrong hospital. So I had to come all the way back and drive like an hour to go to another hospital. Um, but I called them and they said, no, it's okay. You can still come. So we went to the hospital. Oh, time for a nap we went to the hospital um and he had it done and the way back he just cried all the way home and he cried all that night and um, so on tuesday night it was really tough we were up every few hours alternating between calpol and neurofen um he was a very 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 <laughs> my hair annoying you he's been a very he's been a lot better since so we are sending tons of love to you i will speak to you all soon um have a totally totally blessed week stay up to date on social media uh private re readings for april bookings being taken in march i love you all to pieces um i hope you enjoyed two 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 really a number of relationships manifesting into reality it's a really important number um i don't know if you guys ever noticed that when you're thinking about your person or anything like that that you're so car registers with 222 on them a lot they stumble around everywhere right i'm gonna go sort this little one out i love you to pieces and i will see you next week won't we say ciao ciao <laughs>
So these I picked up in Glastonbury many moons ago um, and they are by Linda Ravenscroft. I don't know if any of you have ever been to Glastonbury or been to her shop or seen her fairy tarot that she does. I actually have them here as well. Um, Linda Ravenscroft, she's a beautiful artist. And this is a oracle deck that she, she put together many moons ago, I think. Um, there's no date on it, but we have got her autograph from when I met her. So let's start off by asking the Oracle what it is that they like about you. Like I said, I don't normally work with Oracle because I can find them a little bit too generic, but it feels like the right thing for us to do for you guys today. Us being me and my guides. What do they like about those watching? Okay, so we have got the child of trees. One of Nate, let me show you the picture. <laughs> one of nature's true spirits we all belong to the same beautiful world today you should try to find time to enjoy mother nature's boundary bounties boundaries bounties okay so with this card coming up i don't know if you guys have ever heard the pagan song uh my mother's savage daughter okay now remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but if you go and have a listen to that it's a very very strong song and it talks about um i am my mother's savage daughter uh, I run kind of wild, cursing, I run bare feet, cursing sharp stones. Um, I will not cut my hair. I will not lower my voice. And then she goes on in the song to talk about oracles and how she sees things and how she perceives things. Um, how, as her mother, you know, she's the daughter of her mother and she's savage, but she has all this wild side to her. How she dances to the moon and renames the planets. It's a really beautiful song. Uh, My mother's savage daughter, or it might just be savage daughter. Um, if you go onto you Google, you'll find it or YouTube. If you type it in, you will come up with it. So first and foremost, what we've got over here is this very strong pull towards you, seeing you as someone who is a little bit outside of the normal. Someone that is very attractive on a spiritual level and a very strong uh, connecting, connection to the world, connection to the universe. They know that you see things in a very different light to how they see things and that you are actually a child of the universe. And that is a major pull towards them. Sometimes I feel that the psychic stuff can freak them out a little bit, but overall, um, when they're looking at you and they're looking at your energy and how you perceive the world, they have this massive uh, pull towards you based on this, based on you being your mother's savage daughter. How beautiful is that? Okay, let's look at the tarot. So, let's go into all your energies and all your people's energies. let's see what they like about you what is it that they find attractive about you okay so i'm just going to get five because five feels the right place for us to go with this reading what is it that deck number two their people like about those watching what are they attracted to got that song going round and round in my head i am my mother's savage daughter what do they like about you Oh, these are cute. These are good. What are they attracted to? Four. Last one. Five. Okay, very interesting things kind of coming up here. Now, the first thing that's coming right to my attention is the communication between the two of you. All right. So we have the King of Cups and we have the Queen of Swords. Both of you kind of a little bit of different standpoints over here, but there is this blue for communication. So your person likes the attention that you give them. They like the love that you give them. They like the bond and the connection that the two of you share. And they also like this kind of independent, sassy, sexy, powerful side of you. And it kind of comes back to your Oracle card over here. You are sexy, you are sassy and you're powerful and you are strong. And they are really, really drawn to that. They like that side of you. It makes them fall even more in love with you. And with the blue kind of highlighting the communication between you guys, this shows that this bond between you guys is very, very strong and they like how you talk to them. There also feels to be this mutual respect spirit, I'll say. Some of you might feel a little bit opposite on occasions, uh, but the mutual respect between you both means that open communication can often flow. And they do like talking to you. They do like that communication you guys have. They find you very interesting, very enthralling, spirits say. Um, very kind of, 
what's the right, right word to use over here? Kind of looking up to you as this, this power energy. You're a very strong, independent person um, and they kind of admire that within you especially because on occasions with the king of cups over here they can feel a little bit weak they can feel a little bit vulnerable um and so when they see you in this kind of queen of swords power based energy they like really become quite drawn to you find you very very strong so they like that about you so right off the bat you've got the connection with the psychic stuff you've got the connection with the universe you've got this power based energy coming through and they like the way that you talk to them and make them feel other things kind of coming on that they like about you we've got the page of cups strength and the six of pentacles so with the six of pentacles coming up spirit are saying they like the way that you see things from a different perspective and again this can be coming back up to your child of trees so they see you in this very strong energy this strong power energy and they like the way that you perceive the world you kind of see things in two different ways one is your earthly side, and again, one is your spiritual side, your, your connection with the divine. And they like that you walk between the two worlds. Again, on occasions it can freak them out, but they do like that. There's also, with the, the scales over the top of his head, there is the scales of justice. And this would indicate in this lifetime that you've probably had previous lifetimes with this person. Um, and through the previous lifetimes that you have had with them, there is this very strong bond and connection from that as well. There is also... Um, a strong chemistry between the two of you, a very strong connection on that side of things. And a lot of that comes from your past lives that you two have shared together. It's a very strong bond, very strong connection holding the two of you together. With strength over here, this is showing that you are in your power. They like that fiery, feisty side of you, right? They, they like, yeah, they're really attracted to the independent, feisty, powerful side of you. When it becomes a little bit too emotional and a bit too deep, this is when they panic and they, they freak out. And this is where this vulnerability comes up and they can be a bit of an a-hole. When you're in this powerful, sassy, sexy energy, they're really, really drawn to you. This, the chemistry becomes totally insane with you guys. And that bond is very, very strong. And with that as well, I just kind of got the, uh, I saw two things. I saw a 555 indicating major changes. And I also saw a lot of fire energy kind of coming up. Now, fire is creativity. Fire often comes from a womb space. It comes from our sacral chakra. So with this fire energy coming up with you guys, this is showing that there was a lot of creative impulse with you both. That you both work on passion and that this relationship can be co-created in whichever direction you want it to. So that's pretty neat as well. So if you're thinking about the future of you and your person, you can bring this into your reality. And with the page of cups over here, here he is, or she is, this is talking about the connection with you guys and the very um, prospects that you two have. So lots of prospects between the two of you, the potential for a very, very strong future, open communication and a very strong love. Very, very interesting over here. So that is what they like about you. Let's just recap on that and try and remember it all. I get total amnesia when I'm doing readings because spirit channel through me, your loved ones, helpers and guys channel through me. And then once I've done it, it's gone. It's like total am amnesia. So I have to go back and recount what they've said. So you have this balancing. You have this walking between the two worlds. You have this passionate fire, creative energy. You've got potential for the future. You've got seeing the world from a different perspective, being very grounded in your uh, energy, walking between, I think I just said that, walking between the two worlds, open communication, your sassy, sassy sexy, powerful side of you, um, and to a sense, they kind of like the way that you make and the way you they like the way you communicate, but they also have that kind of vulnerability when it comes to you as well, because they've never felt this way about anyone. So that vulnerability coming up with them gives them that sense of excitement as well, just to throw that in at the end. And that, my loves, is what your person likes about you. My beautiful children of trees. Beautiful, aren't they? In fact, I'm just going to pull one more because we've got a little bit of time to play with. Let's just pull one more about what their person likes about them. Let's just get another oracle because we don't use them often. So it feels like let's go for something. Let's try it, something new or just different. I, I used to do them, but we don't do them now. Look how beautiful. Angel, it says. Again, if we're looking straight off the bat at the colours over here, the chemistry, the connection, the fire energy coming up with you, the creativity, uh, you know, there, there could be a lot of fire 
uh, in your astrological charts between you both. Um, but that other than that, it's the chemistry, the passion, the fire, the bond that you two share. And it says Ruby is a gem for protection. I actually have a Ruby um, circlet that I like to wear. I didn't know that uh, they were specifically for protection. I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. And it's great to wear at fire ceremonies like Lamas. Um, <laughs> Ruby is the gem for protection. This little angel is here for you today. Even when you feel alone, someone is always watching over you. So when we look at this on the flip side of how they feel about you, again, they've got that you're always there for them. Okay, so when it all, when things go a bit tough in life and shit is the fan, when it's really dark and heavy with them, you are there for them and they love that about you as well. You're like their angel. Their guys, spirit are saying, I'm not quite sure what guys means, but that's what they're saying. You are their guys. Very strong connection, very strong chemistry between the two of you. Very strong passion. And that is deck number one. Okay, my beauties, I'm sending tons of love to you. Speak to you all soon uh, and lots of goddess blessings your way. Ciao. Okay guys, deck number two. So what I'm going to do, like I did with deck number one, is I'm just going to pull you some oracle cards first. These are from Linda Ravenscroft. Um, I got them signed when I was in Glastonbury many, many moons ago. Uh, but the artwork is absolutely beautiful. She has a shop down there. And if you haven't checked out her artwork, really would suggest you go and have a look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull an oracle card for you both about how uh, they perceive you, what they like about you. So can you tell me, please, in deck number two, let's have that one. What do they like about those watching? And then I will do your tarot. I'm going to get two. The reason why I'm getting two is because we did with deck number one. Okay, and I'm just going to get five of the tarot. So going into all your energy and all your people's energy. And can you tell me, please, what is it that their people like about those watching? What is it that they are most attracted to? What are they most attracted to? One. Two. Oh, this deck, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it is just so, so beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? There's a, a place near where I live where there's a sacred well. Um, very, very old sacred well that I like to, to go to. And... Um, when I go there, there's so many, in, if I go there in the, the freezing cold in winter, because, you know, we still have winter solstice and we still have Imolk, I still go out into nature in those points. If I go at that time of year, you get loads of robins um, and they really kind of help you cross the threshold because you can't, some people, if you, if you weren't, if you were just earthly, you just walk through and get to the well. But for, for me, there is this kind of threshold you have to cross because it's very sacred ground. And it's always, always, always a little robin that sits on top of the um, the wall before you go through. So I speak to him and he always like nods his head to say, yeah, you can go through the threshold. And that's in the winter months. And then in the summer months, it kind of changes and it's all squirrels and crows. And oh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> but it just made me think of that with the... the, the Squirrel kind of coming up over here. Love squirrels. They're adorable. Oh, well, I love all animals, but squirrels are adorable. Okay, so what does your person like about you? Let's talk or oracle. Celebrate, we've got first and foremost. Take a moment to think of little things in life. Some victories are smaller than others, but all are achievements and we should celebrate each of them. So, straight off the bat with this card and their emotions for you, you have the the way they make you feel. I've got a song, it's the way you make me feel. That's definitely a song, I don't know who sings it, uh, but I just heard it, it's the way you make me feel. So this card over here is they like the way that you make them feel. They like the way that you two kind of work together. And even though it's not necessarily been an easy ride for you both, when you kind of achieve what you want to and you start building and working as a team, you have this achievement coming forward and this is what the celebration is. They love the connection, they love the bond, and they love the way that even when it goes a little bit peak Tom, you two work together to achieve your goals and results. They love the way you make them feel like it's kind of spirit saying it's like Christmas every day of the year. So you have this very, very positive energy kind of coming out with that, that they like to spend time with you, they like to celebrate the connection, they like the bond that the two of you share. And I'll come back to the other one once we've read the tarot. So what else do they like about you? We have the Eight of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. So let's look at these two first and foremost. So 
there is this kind of light in dark times. When things have been really heavy around them and things have been a bit difficult with your person, they look to you. And it's really interesting over here that we have these kind of beautiful bees going around the Eight of Wands. Um, now, in my faith, in my Druidry, they always say that the Druids told all of their lore to the bees. And it's really interesting that they're coming up on a card of movement. So they know that you know more about this connection than you let on. I'm coming back to this card of it's the way you make me feel with that song coming forward really clearly. So they like the way that you make them feel. They like the way that you see things from a different perspective and they like the way that you are kind of on their case a little bit. So what we mean by that is that they don't let you wander far or you don't let them wander far. They like the way that you kind of push them a little bit to achieve what they want in life for them to be a better person and you give them that that push to do that and they like that about you they found a lot of the time in their life that they haven't had many supporters and it kind of comes back to family issues over here like younger when they were children um you are their biggest supporter they just got cheerleader the song cheerleader so your biggest supporter you are their biggest supporter and they love that about you so you've got straight off the bat you're their cheerleader and they like the way that you make them feel because even when things are difficult, you guys start working together and you move things forward. With the page of cups over here, this is suggesting that they see great potential with you both. They look towards the cup being full. They also see that you're a bit of an optimist rather than a pessimist. I nearly said a negativist, <laughs> making words up now. They like that you are an optimist. Okay, so you always see the glass half full rather than half empty. Really drawn to that about you. And Page of Cups standing for the potential between you guys. They also like the fact that you communicate your emotions to them. So uh, perhaps in the past, people haven't really expressed how they feel about your person. Um, and now with you in the connection, when they're looking at past energies, they're like, well, why did other people find it so hard when you lot can just tell me right off the bat how you feel about me? And they like that. Sometimes they can find it a little bit overwhelming, but at the same time, they do like it. But again, coming back to it, it's the way you make me feel. I don't know who sang that. I can hear it really, really clearly. So other cards kind of coming up over here, other adorable, beautiful cards that we have. We've got the two of wands. The little fox, or oh, love foxes. Got your four of cups. And we also have the four of pentacles. So four of pentacles, four of cups. So with you guys, four kind of coming up is quite an important number. You only have, you have two fours. Um, so I don't know how often you guys see four, 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 but four, four, four is normally, uh, for me anyway, a signal of great family time and family unit and family connection. So with that being said, this would suggest that they see that they're we're going back to the page of cups, there's potential for you guys to have a, a family a bond, a connection, a marriage, etc, etc. Now they know on this kind of card over here with the four of cups that sometimes they're a bit assholey. They don't really give you what you want um, and you guys are kind of left a little bit out in the dark and left a little bit like what's actually happening and you lot feeling fed up. But at the same time, Spirit are saying with this that it shows that there is growth in this relationship. So when you're feeling fed up, we've got all these butterflies around here, you have the cards of transformation. So when things don't go right, and again, when these kind of difficult times can happen, they like the way that you stand on your own two feet with the connection. You bond it, you build it, you help it to grow, and it transforms. And when it transforms, you get your um page of cups over here you get shifting and moving into your favor so they also hold on to the situation that no matter how hard it has been you are still there for them okay so they do feel that that bond and that that life um yeah prana the life force energy okay or nif nifwe nifwe if you're going to talk welsh i think that's how you say it uh the life force energy between you both holding on to the connection holding on to the bond no matter what's happened, you two still love each other. And with the two of ones over here, they also find it really attractive that you think about them, that you make the effort to be with them and you make the effort of love, no matter how they've handled it. 
So just a quick recap on these first few cards and then I'm going to go over to your last card which is Serenity. So they like the way you make them feel, they like the potential between you both, they like that even in difficult times you two work together and you achieve your victories. Um, even if you're fed up with them, those periods of being fed up transforms the connection, transforms the relationship, that no matter what's hot happened between you guys, you're still holding on, that you're thinking about them, that you make an effort with them and that you see the potential between you both, no matter how they've handled the situation and how they feel about you. Last oracle, you've got serenity. Life can be busy with little time to spare for ourselves. Occasionally, we need to find a, a place of peaceful serenity just for a few minutes. So straight away, when we're asking how they make you feel, um, how they feel about you, what they like about you, that serenity that you give them, that peace, that tranquility, that no matter how busy and hectic their lives are, they can still come to you and find that inner peace. And again, it comes back to this, you know, this energy of you two working together. You guys work hard together to communicate how you're feeling and being vulnerable when it comes to your emotions, talking about things that perhaps you haven't done, they haven't had with other people. And that is what your person likes about you. Very high energy reading. Totally love that. Um, you guys look after yourself. I will speak to you all soon. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Channel my angels.